Hello, this is Hilary Weller. In this video, I'm going to describe the process of using artificial dis diffusion to remove the spurious oscillations associated with linear advection, with numerical linear advection. So numerical schemes and advection schemes are designed not to produce spurious oscillations. However, once a forecasting model is put together, often spurious oscillations are still generated. Um, and these can be removed by adding an artificial diffusion term to the equations. So for example, if we consider the linear advection equation with diffusion, it's you've got rate of change of phi, then the advection term of phi, and then the diffusion of, ke of phi. Um, you can pause the video and write this equation down in one dimension, which is the, for the form you'd solve it if you were coding this numerical method up to uh, experiment with it. So in one dimension, it's it's just that, in the, just in the x direction. Though adding diffusion dampens out spurious oscillations, we know that diffusion removes oscillations, particularly uh, small-scale oscillations. The problem with adding artificial diffusion is it also removes real features. So it's only used as a last resort, however it is frequently used as a last resort in atmospheric models. Um, another thing that's frequently used is hyperdiffusion, which is del4 diffusion rather than del squared. Um, this is more scale selective, which means it removes the small scale oscillations much more than it removes the large scale oscillations. Um, so for example, here's the advection equation with a hyperdiffusion term. If you decide to code up this numerical method in one dimension to experiment with it, um, you'll need a, a stable finite difference scheme. This here is a stable finite difference scheme for advection with diffusion. So here you've got the advection term, which is uh, centred in time. So you've got time levels n plus 1, n minus 1, and n. Whereas the diffusion term is forward in time. The diffusion term is all at time level n minus 1. So this combination is stable so long as c squared plus 4d is less than or equal to 1. Where the c is the current number, and d is the non-dimensional diffusion coefficient, or diffusion number, which is k delta t over delta x squared. So it's worth coding this up to experiment with it to see how much diffusion is needed to control the oscillations associated with, this is centred in time, centred in space advection, and whether hyperdiffusion does a better job than um, del squared diffusion.